without sampling the fruit of the vine. The Van Rhines Distillery was established in 1845, and they still carry on in the ways of the old world. Hey guys, I'm here in South Africa, Cape Town, and I'm sitting here with Anthea at Fan Rain's Brandy Distillery. We're gonna find out why this brandy is the best in the world. So today I'm gonna to be showing you how we actually make the world's best brandy. Okay. We're gonna go into the distillery where I'll show you how the magic happens. Yes. And then we'll go to the cooperage and they'll show you how barrels were made in the olden days. I'm so excited. Let's go. As you look around, Sandrina, you see all the different size pot stills. I do. The ones at the back that look like onion shapes, okay. those are actually John Dua pots. They're over 100 years old and they are from England. Okay. And then the ones to your right, those are Saval pots. They're over 60 years old and they are from France. The Saval pots are the ones we make the brandy with first distillation. It takes roughly about eight hours. We would pop the base wine, which I said is Chenin Blanc, into the preheater, mm -hmm. it will come down into the pot. As I say, they'll start heating it up. Mm -hmm. So obviously your alcoholic vapors will start to rise right. first, yes, okay? Definitely. So those will come up through the swan's neck, through the preheater and into the condenser. Condenses back down into the liquid. And now we've turned our base wine into low wine. Now second distillation, about the same thing happens, but something magical happens right at the end, and this is where we are now turning our liquid from low wine into brandy. Interesting. So what are we going to learn now? We have to learn how to make a barrel so that we can be putting our product into it. Let's go. Let's go. Sandrina, I'd like to introduce you to Uncle Neville. Uncle Neville. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uncle Neville has been a Coupe at Van Rains for 36 years, and he is going to show you how to make a barrel from scratch. From scratch? Yeah. The first thing what the Cooper must do, he must cut an angle in the wood. And this is the angle. How long did it take for you to perfect that? The apprentice is 30 years. How long do you think it would take me to do that? <laughs> After that, we go right around and it will stand on its own and it will look like this one here. It's a little bit uneven here on top, so we use these handmade tools to make it level on top. Wow. <laughs> so what our coopers do when we finish the barrel, we play a little tune on it. So let's hear this tune. of the world's best brand. Oh goodness, how exciting it's is this? Gooseberries, <laughs> gooseberries, vanilla, and cherries. All and right. then on the palate, you can take a sip. Okay. You're getting those strong dried fruit characters. It's the oak strong. really comes through really nicely, but right at the end there's a bit of coffee. And That's now comes mind. the fun part. Ooh. You get a pair of chocolates. Okay. okay. So these chocolates are made specifically for the brandy. Okay. So with the 12 year old, you have an espresso bean chocolate. Okay. So you can open that up. All right. Take a nice big bite mm. to really coat the mouth. Okay. Okay. Chew, chew, chew. Let it really coat your mouth, coat the palate. Okay. And right before you're about to swallow, take a sip of your brandy. Okay. And what that does, it just emphasizes the last flavor note, which is that coffee, and makes it a little softer. <laughs> this is delicious. Seriously, I'm going to have chocolate and brandy every night. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Thank you I'm so glad much, Anthea. Yes. yes. <laughs> All right. Coming up on Africa a la carte. I've never ever petted a cheetah. Don't run, no matter how scared you are. And how fast does he run? 120 